Welcome to Soltron. This is the video review for Tobot Airhide. Here's how he scales with the transformer. This guy has a pretty good head sculpt. I'm really into that. It reminds me of uh, Astro Megazord. So really cool design to it. It's got kind of like a shuttle on top with some turbines for the ears. So pretty cool design. I actually do like his robot mode quite a bit. It's very sleek design and the colors work really well together. And the backpack actually looks pretty good. It compresses pretty well. And then you can also extend the wings and then lower these turbines to look like thrusters. So really a big fan of this robot mode. I'd say this robot is probably like an eight or a nine. Um, this actually the reason I bought this robot. I was pretty on the fence about him because I really don't like his alt mode at all. But the robot mode, I think, makes up for it. So he does have a ball jointed head, which is pretty nice. And then he's got these weird arm joints. So his shoulders do articulate all the way around. So he can, and then they do ratchet forwards as well. And then he does have a double joint elbow. It's kind of hard to get any use out of that, but it is there. So it does bend more than 90 degrees. And then he does have, for once, bicep swivel, which is almost impossible in a Korean transformer. So that's pretty great. Um, one weird thing about his shoulders is they're connected to his backpack. They're actually not connected to his chest at all. So that's kind of weird, but it's pretty hard to notice and it's not that big a deal. It, you really don't really see it. And his backpack can be a little bit flimsy. It can come detabbed, but it usually tabs right back in place, so it's not too much of an issue. He also does have waist swivel, which is pretty nice. He does have, you can get the arms out of the way. He's got a full outward kick, um, which can really just go 180 degrees all the way around. And then his thigh swivel also goes 360. And he's got a double jointed knee, so he's, that's a single joint there, and then a double joint there. So he's got more than 90 degree bend in the knee as well. So this might be the single most articulated toe bot I've ever had. So the articulation is really well done. The only thing he's lacking is ankle pivots. But otherwise he has a full range of articulation, which is also a great point for this figure. And he's also missing wrist swivels. So there are a couple of little annoyances in this figure. Actually, there's kind of a big annoyance is when you're transforming him, so his head just compresses into his chest here. And then usually these, it's hard to see, but there's ridges on the inside of the airplane cockpit section, basically. There's these ridges. I actually cut these ridges because when you compress these, they rub against the paint of the helmet. And in every review I've seen, the paint gets chipped off. So I had to, I had to shave down these ridges. It's, kind of, it's really difficult to get a good angle of this. There you go. So I had to shave out, hollow out this intersection so it wouldn't chip the paint on the helmet. So that's a pretty big oversight on the design. So... When you're transforming him, you do close up this nose cone section, and then it fits very snugly, and if you didn't shave down those, those sections, the paint is now chipped. And then another really irritating thing about this guy is separating this nose cone is incredibly hard, so it's very difficult to transform him back. Actually, that worked out pretty nicely. Maybe I just haven't been doing it right. So, never mind on that. It looks like they do leave you this little tab here, which you can pull out. So that really helps with the transformation. As you see, his helmet is nice and intact because um, I cleaned out all that plastic that was going to chip it up. So still looking good. Okay, so I take that back. That's one less annoyance on this figure, but um, still pretty bad oversight on the helmet getting chipped. And then to transform his fists, they give you another little tab so you can open up 
his forearms and you're going to rotate the fists into there. And then you're going to use that bicep swivel and swivel this peg into this part of his elbow and that'll prepare this turbine and then you rotate this turbine all the way around so the turbines are facing the correct direction and then you're going to use the this orange double jointed hinge up here and just rotate this into place and there you have most most of a um, passenger jet and then you're going to fold this down to close up that gap right there and now you just got to work on the legs which is going to be really easy so you could take um, I think you could you could transform this whole guy without actually even taking the key out so you're just going to sandwich the legs together clip them together you're going to take the tail sections rotate them 180 degrees and then use the double jointed hinge to put that into place down there and that's going to clip together very nicely and then you push the toes into that section and then you just use the strong ratchet joint in the midsection and rotate the whole fuselage up and then this will clip into place under here and there he is pretty much entirely transformed and there's his jumbo jet mode which is fine I just don't like this vehicle it's not very interesting to me it's like having a bus or a van for a vehicle it's just not one of the cooler vehicles that I like. Everything tabs together really nicely. The kibble is pretty minimal. It's just here and here. And then the key is down here. And the function of the key is to open up this section here, which is to separate the legs. So the key, as usual, doesn't really have much of a purpose. And then you do have this landing gear section here and in the nose cone. And that allows your jet to roll. It's a little bit back heavy but it works and here's a size comparison with a deluxe car uh, the car is too big maybe with a matchbox car that would be the right scale but quality on this figure like usual is a 10 out of 10 rock solid plastic great ratchets everything feels really good now um, so really good on that it's pretty fun to transform back and forth and then for this alt mode I rate this like a four. This is not really exciting to me. It looks good, but I just really don't like this alt mode. So I kind of bought this figure because I, I thought I might customize the robot into a different alt mode, but I don't know. It's kind of a hassle, but I really do like the robot mode. So if you're really interested in this figure, you can order it on eBay. I bought it from the seller with us, with underscore us. I'll leave a link in the description. I actually ordered this a week ago and I got it from Korea, which is the fastest I've ever gotten anything from Korea. And it was also the lowest price. So I highly recommend this seller, but they don't have a lot of robots. So that's it for this time. And I'll see you next time.